a 20 year old man presents with acute nausea, vomiting, and worry diarrhea. He recently returned from a vacation and started to feel nauseous on the last day of his trip. Improvement of this patient's vomiting would best be achieved by medication targeting which of the following receptors. Now this patient is presenting with classic symptoms of Chowler's diarrhea. He developed acute nausea, vomiting, and wiry diarrhea after a recent vacation that he took. Now Chowler's diarrhea is often going to be caused by bacterial and viral infections. It can also be less commonly caused by parasitic infections. And the illness itself is going to be self-limited, meaning that it usually gets better on its own. And the medications that we give patients are going to be often targeting the symptoms that they experience as a result of the infection. So in this question, we need to give this patient a medication that is going to reduce his vomiting. Now the drug of choice that we give this patient is going to be dependent on what is triggering his vomiting. So we need to know the stimuli that is triggering his vomiting in order to give a drug that targets that so that he has a reduction in his vomiting episodes. Now, what is important to know is that anytime we have irritation of our intestines, our intestinal mucosa ends up producing serotonin. So I'm going to write SER for serotonin. So this person had a recent infection from the vacation that he took, and this infection ended up irritating his intestines. So as a result, his intestinal mucosa produced serotonin. Serotonin then binds to the 5-HT3 receptors found on our vagus nerve and spinal afferent nerves. And this then goes on to the vomiting center in the medulla to stimulate vomiting. So this is what is triggering his episodes of vomiting. It's the serotonin release from his intestines that ends up binding the 5-HT3 receptor found on our vagus and spinal afferent nerves. And this then sends a signal to the vomiting center in the medulla. So the medication that we give this patient needs to block these 5-HT3 receptors. As a result, we'll give him something like ondansetron, which blocks the 5-HT3 receptor. So the answer is going to be answer choice A. Now answer choice B is mu opioid receptor. Loperamide is going to be a mu opioid receptor agonist that is going to slow down intestinal motility. And this is going to be actually a drug that is going to be used to treat symptoms of diarrhea in Charles' diarrhea. But in this case, it would actually worsen this patient's episodes of vomiting because uh, loperamide is going to be slowing down the intestinal motility. So we're going to have a buildup of bowel in the colon and that would exacerbate his symptoms of vomiting. As a result, it's not going to be answer choice B. Answer choice C is dopamine receptor. We would give a dopamine receptor antagonist to treat central nausea. So anytime there's an emetogenic substance that can bind to the D2 receptor in the chemoreceptor trigger zone, we would use a dopamine receptor antagonist. So it's not going to be answer choice C. So we can use dopamine receptor antagonists in central nausea. So think of things like acute migraines, uh, chemotherapy, as well as post-surgical vomiting. So these will be some cases uh, in which we would use dopamine receptor antagonists. Now H1 receptor and muscarinic acetylcholine receptor antagonists can be used to treat motion sickness and vertigo. So H1 receptor and the M1 receptor plays a role in the pathogenesis of motion sickness and vertigo. As a result, we would need to block these receptors when we're treating motion sickness and vertigo. Histamine H2 receptor, uh, we would block this receptor when we are treating symptoms of GERD. So this receptor is going to play a role in acid production in parietal cells. So we would need to block this receptor in order to reduce acid production. So it's not going to be answer choice E. Somatostatin receptor agonists like octreotide can be used to treat uh, symptoms of diarrhea in, in uh, carcinoid syndrome as well as in lipomas. So it's not going to be answer choice G. So a mnemonic that I want to mention to help you remember that H1 receptors and M1 receptors 
are going to be the receptors that we need to block in treating motion sickness and vertigo is that I ate one slice of ham and suddenly felt vertigo. So one is going to help you remember H1 and M1. So the H in ham and the M in ham is going to help you remember that we're going to be blocking the H1 and the M1 receptors to treat vertigo.